Guys, thanks for stopping by again. This is Bo with Designs by Bo. I want to thank you again for stopping by. Please watch my videos all the way through. And please, guys, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers so that YouTube can monetize me so that I can be properly compensated for all the hard work that I put in to bring you guys these videos. Um, that being said, make sure you guys watch the videos all the way through. And let's get into this. This video is going to be how to get a water drop effect using Inkscape. And what you guys see on the screen is an image that I got off of a site that I like to use where I can get free um, free image royalty royalty free images that are good free to use for commercial and um, personal per uh, personal purposes. So what we'll do with this image is first we want to make sure that we select the image. Now that the image is selected, the first thing I'm going to do is go up to the path tab, click that, come down to trace bitmap or hit shift alt B. And I like to have this on live preview so that you get to see what's going on um, real time with what you're doing. And I use brightness cutoff for this type of effect. And your threshold will darken or lighting the image, adding more pixels or taking away. If you have it set normally, when you add pixels, it darkens the image. When you, when you, um, drop the threshold it removes more pixels um if you invert the opposite is true so inversion is when you have um parts of an image that don't work out right the way that you're doing it then you want to invert it and then use the opposite colors to um, adjust up and down but what we have here, I'm going to leave it where it said it's at about 480. After 480, this image will start distorting and adding pixels starting in this top left corner. So because that's the darkest part of the image is this part where you start to get the most pixelation or the most darkening. That's the darkest part of the image that the computer is reading from. So once it's the proper um, once it's to your liking, you just click OK. It'll flash as it's working and then it'll go back to OK to let you know that it's done. And then I usually just close this out. <coughs> Sorry, guys. And then I click on a dark area because that's usually where your, um, your duplicate is and just drag it. And I do this and drag this to the side. I'm on the whole um, control, scroll down on the mouse so that I can zoom out so I can get to see a little more visibly what I'm doing and I want the bubbles into the center of the screen so I'm going to put the cursor in the middle of the image and I'm going to hold control and then scroll up that'll give me my image um, in the center of the screen now we need our text so go over here select the text tool Click on the screen and what we're going to do is type in, in caps, I'm going to type in water, water drop and hit enter and type in effect. And I'm going to center this. And for this, I need a bold text. So the boldest text that's pretty much out there is impact. And there's one more impact heavy. So. I'm going to start typing impact and it's going to select that and then I'm going to go here to normal and yeah it's not letting me but there's a this this will do I'll go with M impact and <clears throat> what I want to do is hit control D to duplicate this and then hit control D one more time to duplicate this and the purpose of that 
is because we have one layer. I made two more, two additional layers to the first one. So we have three layers total. And to test that, if you click off of there and then you select over this whole thing, it should tell you at the bottom, it says three objects selected. So you have three objects here. So the top one, what we're going to do is this one, we're going to go click on the top one, go over to our eyedropper or pick colors from image or F7, click that. And what I want is a color, a water, a color of the water for the text. So I'm going to use that to pull a color from here. And I'm just going to click on it until I get the, that's the color I want out of here. And the cool I want a little darker cooler blue that's that's good there and now that I have that click back on my select tool and now this is going to be our um, layer that we're going the layer of text that we're going to do our effect on next what I'll do is I'm going to I need to get the layer below is going to be a black layer. So what we're going to do is select, click off and then select all the layers again. And then I'm going to make sure they're all lined up properly. So I'm going to click align and distribute. And then I'm going to click center both horizontally and vertically to make sure they're perfectly centered. And what I'll do is bring this over the water drop and then I'll hold down control and then scroll down I'm sorry hold down control and pull down on the mouse to make this fit within the bubbles and once we have it good we're going to click on the bubble layer and then we're going to go here and then raise selection to top and now we have our bubbles on top of this um, image. And I'll just hold control, scroll up on the mouse, la mouse uh, wheel to make it zoom in. And as you can see, we have our bubble effect. And we can just move the effect around until we get it in a pretty good position that we want. And ensure that all of the text is covered by the pattern. And we're good. So what I'm going to do is now hit. I'm going to click on the blue section to select the blue. And then I'll hold shift and click on one of the, um, the bubbles. And as you can see, there's two bounding boxes, which means that both of these layers are selected. And we're going to hold control and hit the negative or the minus key on the number pad. And what that did was it basically deleted our um, bubble pattern out of the letters where it overlaid it, where it was over top of it. And to see the difference, what I'm talking about, just grab this layer and move it up and you can see how it actually did a cutout of the bubble shapes anywhere the bubbles were on top of the letters. So to go back, if you make a mistake, control Z. Now we have everything properly aligned. I'm just going to hit the space bar and then just, you don't have to do anything but move the mouse around and that gets everything. You can move it exactly where you want to. And I'll hit control and then scroll up on the mouse wheel to zoom in because we want to now do our shadow effect. Now what we have is our water layer, the blue layer. There's two black layers still at the bottom. One black layer, the second black layer, the first layer that's under the blue, um, it serves as our backdrop because without that black, we won't have, we won't see the bubbles. We'll just see the white transparency through through the um, through the blue text so we're going to keep one layer and then we're going to move this away from the the final third layer of black so what we have is I'm just going to click off then click on the blue 
and then we're going to hit control and click on the blue again and that'll go to the second layer and you see at the bottom left the black is selected so then I'm going to hit shift and then click on the blue again so now we have those first two layers connect collect connected I'm sorry and to bind those bind them together I'm going to hit control and G now we have both of those layers together so now if I move this now you can see that the black behind it is moving with this one and the reason I did that was so that we can now have our shadow effect and to do that we'll just simply move um, the letters around until you get the shadow effect that you like and for me this is good here it's gonna play with it just a little bit and that will do and that guys is how you do a water drop effect in Inkscape it's a um, pretty simple process guys you can do this with any type of water drop image that you can extract the um, the water drops from or the the, the water effect from this is uh, good for um, t-shirt designs for posters or you know artwork any kind of um, de 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 um, decor home decor and things like that I'm sorry guys I don't know what's wrong with me today I'm like my words maybe it's, I'm tired because it's like 2 in the morning and I had the inspiration to do this video but my words are, I'm just stumbling tonight um, but anyway guys I thank you for viewing the video please guys support me please support me I need you I'm a very small youtuber guys if you can look you can see how small I am I'm trying to grow but I don't have the motivation to grow the channel because I don't have the support I need to get to a thousand subscribers guys to I need motivation to keep going and to keep doing these videos and for that I need to be properly compensated so if I reach a thousand subscribers YouTube will monetize my channel and I can start to make earn a um, income of off of the hard work that I do to bring you guys these videos um, so all I need from you guys is to watch the videos and just subscribe and uh, leave me comments of things that you want to see videos on concerning Inkscape and I'll try to accommodate you guys' wishes um, again I thank you for your support Hope to see you on the next video and every video. Hope to see you as subscribers and build with me, guys. Thank you. This is Bo, Designs by Bo. I'll see you on the next one.